To find the oxidation number for the chlorine here in sodium chloride, NaClO2, we'll use these general rules. First thing to notice when you look at this as a compound here, there's no minus or plus after it. So that means it's going to be a neutral compound, and all of the oxidation numbers, they'll add up to zero. Sodium is in group one on the periodic table. That has a plus one oxidation number. Chlorine, we're not sure because here we say that it's minus one except when it's bonded to oxygen. So it's bonded to these oxygens, so we really can't use this rule here. We do know that oxygen, though, that has a minus two oxidation number in most cases. So we can put minus two here. That's for each oxygen, and then we don't know the chlorine. But we do know that all of this adds up to zero. So we can just make an equation. One plus x minus two and we have two of those oxygens, so we multiply that by two. That equals our zero. X minus three equals zero, so we add three to both sides. X equals a positive three. So the oxidation state for the chlorine in NaClO2 is positive three. And if you add these numbers up, two times this negative two, so minus four plus three plus one, that equals the zero, since this is a neutral compound. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each element here in NaClO2, sodium chloride. Thanks for watching.